the Masters of Architecture with an emphasis in interior is very unique in the sense that it's a professional architecture program accredited by NAP. But at the same time, students also have a chance to study interior. We approach the design of architecture from the inside out. We look at how people use the space. We look at how they behave, how the space can be transformed through the user. And from there, we begin to address what is outside of the building. One of the main ideas that's happening throughout the interior architecture program is the idea of radical preservation. There are existing buildings in the city of Chicago that we're looking at and thinking about what they could be in the future rather than what they just were in the past. So we're putting new programs into those buildings, thinking about how people would occupy the city in new ways. Each of these objects is inspired by a Levantine artifact that's in the Louvre's Near Eastern Antiquities collection. I wanted to take the project a little step further and to imagine a structure that these objects could inhabit. Being an AIADO has just challenged me in my own artistic practice to um, conceptualize spaces that can be engaged with, so it has me thinking a little larger and it has me thinking structurally how I could make these imagined spaces in built form. The graduate uh, program has a certificate program uh, in the Historic Preservation Department. It allows them to understand the significance of uh, history and how they can begin to preserve, conserve um, historic buildings as well as interior spaces. It's unique in its uh, opportunities for interdisciplinary exploration. I believe that architecture touches everything and so it can connect to every discipline and there's a lot of great resources and great faculty at SAIC. So for example, I was interested in interior space and sound. So when I studied there, I was working with a sound artist and then someone in the sculpture department whose expertise was in metalwork because I was doing that too. And so if you have the initiative, you can find all these great resources and sort of apply them to your area of study. We get a lot of students to experiment with materials and use that as a platform uh, for the generation of architectural forms. I think that sensibility, uh, working with your hand, is very much the ethos of, of making and it's very much how SAIC approach art and design education. Architecture is more than just a building, it's also about belonging to a space, belonging to a community. So SAIC has really just kind of opened the door to uh, alternative practices and kind of non-traditional paths within architecture. Mm -hmm.